Well, um, for me, um, I went to Mount St. Joseph Academy. I had never gone to a Catholic school, never had sisters. And when I met these women, I just thought, look at the work they're doing. Uh, besides teaching all the various subjects, you know, they were doing sports. Um, little did I know that they were probably only six, seven years older than I was. Um, and they were just interested in world affairs, things that at that time in my life, growing up in the 60s, I was very much interested in. And so there was an attraction there. In addition, I was exploring my own sense of religion. Uh, what did that mean to me? So for me at that time, it was a wonderful combination. Had I probably known a little bit more about um, the Peace Corps, um, that might have been something I would have been drawn to. Um, so um, I took the leap and entered a religious community. Well, um, my background is social work. Though we're a teaching community, I believe I may have taught maybe two years, but I was drawn to working with the students in the classroom in a very different way. Why would I send them out to receive counseling in that? So I got a, my first master's was in counseling from Canisius, and then I received a master's in social work from uh, University of Buffalo. And ever since then, I've been doing counseling, working with young people, young families, um, I believe as a sister of St. Joseph, if it's a religious, our charism of unity and reconciliation dovetails with my work as a social worker, bringing people healing, bringing them some comfort and some peace in their life, which has been very important to me. Well, we're in the building right now that houses our retired and infirm sisters. That's what it was built to do. As we have aged in our community, we have many more sisters in that category who have left teaching, but they're still very vibrant. We certainly have a lot of sisters here that can do a lot of things. Some of them are involved in prayer ministry. People call people up on the phones. People write letters. Um, people are connecting through just in technology, whether it's Zoom, or FaceTime, and I think that's very important, not only to reach out beyond this house, but for the sisters to feel that they still can perform some great services. And so it takes a lot to operate this building. So anything that our donors can do to support that ministry is extremely important. 